<laughs> I swear, I'm not feeling good. Hi. Hi, I'm TJ from Vietnam. I'm Clotid from France. And we're here today for our final episode of K UNESCO Adventures in Gyeongchu City. Today, we're going to see how people from the past used to observe the stars, but we'll also meet some symbols from Shilla uh, dynasty. And you can actually see that tower there behind us, right? That is Jomsongde, the ancient people's observatory. Jomsongde is the oldest surviving observatory in Asia, probably in the world. It was built in the 7th century. Wow, yeah. so let's go check it out. Let's go. Jomsongde literally means stargazing platform and there is an interesting theory about this. That's right. The number of stones in this tower represents the number of days in a lunar year. The window in the middle uh, separates the tower into 24 layers, 12 above and 12 below. 12 which represent the 12 months in a year and 24 for the lunar calendar. And besides that, there's 27 layers which represents 27 great kings of Sheila kingdom. Symbols everywhere. Yeah. Wow, Tsosong Day is really impressive. And it's also a really nice park where people come here to enjoy their free time. Totally agree. But you know what? Let's see what else is impressive of Sheila time in Gyeongchu National Museum. Let's go! Let's go! Here we are at Gyeongchu National Museum. The museum is part of the Gyeongchu City National Heritage and Shila people actually gave birth to this museum. The museum was first opened in 1945 and has a collection of more than 225,000 items and currently 6,000 of them are on display. So let's go, let's have a look. Like many other museums, this museum, Gyeongchu National Museum, actually have an outdoor exhibition, and we are right near it. The Bell of King Songdok actually is one of the very important exhibition here. The sound of the Bell of the King Songdok is said to have been heard in all corners of Sodabor. Oh, we get a note. Magic hand. <laughs> okay, so the Bell of King Songdok has another name. A mill bell. Some people say it is because it sounds like a child crying. Wow. So there is a legend connected with this name. Can you guess the legend? A child crying. And his name is Mill. Oh, is it related to like. No, it's not. So the legend is Maybe. every time the bell rings, a child will cry. Genius. So every time the bell. Yeah, maybe there is just like an, an, an information, but the yeah, right. <laughs> Sacred bell. I guess we're not getting the cookie. <laughs> Basically, at first, the, when the king ordered this bell, it was making no sound, weirdly enough, because it's a bell, right? Uh, so his son took over, but with no success. So like a monk had the amazing idea that if you put a child into the bell, it will ring. But the craziest part is that after the child was cast into the bell, it started ringing and the sound was beautiful. That is a legend. 
Okay, cookies. <laughs> I need a cookie to calm me down. We're lost, but we still get the cookie. Nice, guys. So it's in the shape of the bell. Hopefully with no child inside. So now we're approaching one of the most important pieces of the collection in this museum, the Sheila Smile. Exactly, let's take a look. So what do you see? <laughs> I see a smiling face, right? So this is actually a piece of a roof and tile from the 7th century and it re represents the smiling, delicate face of a woman. And uh, it is said to repel bad spirits at the time, but now it's one of the most important symbols of the ancient dynasty Shila, one of the biggest dynasty of all times. Wow, it's that's huge. the gold crown. So this is the real one. Yeah, yeah, it's not oh the real one. Oh my god. Yeah. So well preserved. Yeah. There's also the gold belt. So this brings us to the end of Sheila's time. I learned so much about Sheila's ancient capital, Sodabol. Well, our trip is over, but this is just the beginning of KUNESCO adventures. So stay tuned and follow us for more. Exactly. See you soon. See ya!